This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. Hello everyone, welcome back to one more video for the channel and in this video we'll be taking a look on few exploitation techniques to play with .git folder found in web applications. But as always, before going to the video, we're running announcements here. We had launched source code reviews, we had launched Web3 courses, we have launched the Bug Bounty Master courses, all of them are going good. And if you still want to enroll in any of them, just check out the links in the description. You can just take a look on a few more things allowed there, available there to explore more about them. And yeah, just quick about the short promotions, although we have a few more launches upcoming related to courses and free resources so stay tuned on the channel stay tuned on the social media platforms and let's get the video right so here we are on our computer screen now and let's take a look on few things here now initially as we know that dot git is usually found in many web applications you can also use nuclei or you can have other approaches to find dot git directory but most people just try to find config and then just leave it it's not like that you have to exploit it more find more details about it and exploit it more now there are few blocks that you might want to check but first of all let me tell you a tool here git dumper you can use this tool git dumper that can dump the git repository from a web application simple to install not a big deal it's simple to use like this just go with like pip install hyphen r requirement.txt and then just run the python file with domain name dot git and output directory that's all that you got to do I'll also show you a few uses about it, so don't worry on it. But this is the simplest example of it that can dump a whole directory for you. Alright. And also, initially, if you just take a look on .git, there might be a lot of files that might be containing a lot of APIs or maybe a few more details that can be easily used to exploit or carry out further attacks. And that's really easy to use it. So make sure you take a look on this tool and use it properly. Now let me take a, uh, let's take a look on the POC. It's really easy to discover how to find dot git directory. You can brute force it the first way. The very common way you can just simply go to the Google, just type any brute forcing or any type of you know word list you can find. Apart from that, if you just take a look on using nuclear, suppose you have ten thousand subdomains, right? Use any type of template like this, which is gonna be looking for dot git slash config. And even if you only find dot git, it's alright. You can simply make your own template. And just try to find all the dot gits and then just try to explore it furthermore. That's what I have used in the previous POC. I had multiple URLs, I found this trick, I uh, submerged all my subdomains into one file and just used this dot git on it. After finding lots of dot git, trying to exploit all of them, and I found that yes, I am able to certainly get the or dump the data from git directory and then I can report it. Usually, effect on VDP is a lot, you can try to find this type of bugs that are easy to discover and they can reward you good money if possible so yeah that's the simple logic on it to finding it not a complicated topic and i guess that was for the video thanks for watching don't forget to take a look on the link in the description and see you guys in the upcoming video